The buildings on the Charlotte Hawkins Brown Museum property tell a story, a story that still matters, 50 years after the prep school doors were closed. Not only of this site as a place for education, but as a, pay, a place for social justice seeking, um, for voting rights seeking. This is, these are um, issues that Dr. Charlotte Hawkins Brown was extremely passionate about. Dr. Charlotte Hawkins Brown opened the Palmer Memorial Institute in 1902. The goal was to educate blacks and provide students with the tools to excel in a segregated society. Part of that education happened in a building that can easily be overlooked. This was a gathering place where they practiced courtship, socializing, playing cards, you know, having a time to just relax, but there also was business happening here. Students used the tea house to operate businesses, learning skills like how to balance the books and buying and selling supplies. The building is now in poor condition and off limits to the public. A National Park Service grant will soon highlight an aspect of the Palmer Memorial Institute people didn't know about. Renovating the tea house is an important step because it will give visitors a full picture of student life here on campus, a life Lanier is very familiar with. Two of my great great aunts, my grandfather spent time here, a cousin, and so this is a personal story for me. I am a Palmer heir. And renovating the tea house is just a part of bringing the past into the future. There are so many powerful synergies that are on the horizon for this site, and we're very excited. In Guilford County, Charles Ewing, Fox 8 News.